All right, here is the outside of this house. Obviously a very similar area to the other home. Uh, this one is actually gonna be in a bend, kind of a curved little cul-de-sac, and it does actually back up to more of a busy street than the last one. So we'll, we'll talk about that more when we get in the backyard, but kind of keep that in mind. Um, the other one was a little bit more off of veterans than this one. So yeah, but all in all, the layout looks very similar, as you can see, another pretty long hallway. And it looks like this layout is exactly what we saw in the last one. Obviously, this one is filled, so it'll give you a good idea of what it looks like filled. But, same layout. So you have the two bedrooms immediately, kind of when you walk in. And then you have their own bathroom. And then the other bedroom right here. Let me remove my shoes okay perfect so this is actually cool because this will give you a really good comparison of the two homes uh this one obviously needs a little bit newer carpet or doesn't have as much newer carpet um we'll, the garage does have dogs in it so we'll see about checking that out and then here is another side bathroom so it looks like this time the mudroom doesn't lead or the laundry room does not lead into the garage so it looks like it's its own separate little laundry room and then this bedroom unlike the last one that is was tucked away this is actually not the master bedroom this is just a smaller bedroom so that was kind of interesting so i guess there is one little difference from this one comparatively to the last one, obviously the hall bathroom. So this one, you walk straight into the kitchen rather than kind of from the back side of the kitchen, as you can see. That's all built in, so you don't have to worry about that. Just kind of giving you a view of the home. Appliances are a lot nicer. Same with the cabinetry in this one. but I think the other home had a little bit more newer features like carpet and flooring. So the master bedroom on this, this one is actually backed into the, more towards the back of the house rather than the front. So there is that main difference. Very good size room though. And you do get a beautiful view of the mountains from your bedroom, which is pretty cool. I know that they're building that right there, but it doesn't look like there's going to be something built behind it, which is nice. Let's see the walk-in bathroom and closet. Okay. So generally pretty nice. Um, bathrooms could use a little bit of upgrading. Um, it's not that anything is bad, it's just could use a little bit. Walk-in closet is pretty sizable. Um, I believe the last one was a little bit bigger, but oh, all in all, still a very good size closet. And then of course the toilet room. And this is gonna be your pantry or linen closet. So looks like a little bit of both. Personally, I would probably use this as a pantry but it looks like they're using it as storage. Okay. And right here, there's your pantry. <laughs> so they do have kind of the bow, so I guess that does make sense that the other one was a linen closet. And then here is that closet. 
So a little bit of a different layout, but very similar. Uh, it looks like all the little bedrooms are gonna be on this front end and then the big master on the other end. So if you go back to the last video that I took, that's kind of what I suggested to do for the last one. So that's kind of interesting. Here's a picture of the garage. So they have some dogs in here, super friendly guys, but I don't wanna disturb them too much. And the house does not smell like it has dogs whatsoever. All right, guys, watch out, guys. I'll be, watch out, watch out. <laughs> Very friendly now, Very friendly. And I'm just going to grab my shoes so that we can trek through the backyard a little bit. Um, all in all, the house looks really good. You know, it looks like there's a young family in here dogs, things like that, and it still looks like it's in really good condition. Uh, one thing about it, it is a dirt lot, so you will have to, you know, more or less will want to, um, you know, landscape it and things like that, but it is really nice. It is a corner lot, which actually is very spacious, so it keeps going wrapped around to there, which is pretty significant. You can do a lot with it. Looks like they already decided to put a little play structure here, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, keep in mind that that street... Oh, I'm going to sneeze again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's a little bit of the dust out here in the dirt. It's a windy day. It's making me uh, <laughs> sneeze. So the fences are high, which are nice, but just keep in mind that that street is going to be a little bit busy, you know, it's not terribly loud and you know right now it is more or less of a quieter time but you are going to get some third traffic from that street <laughs> and not to mention the new construction so you're going to have a little bit of a higher noise level in those specific areas but other than that you know you shouldn't have to run into any issues so definitely keep you know the budget for landscaping in mind and I'll just walk you through the house one more time. Last me. Right. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a good idea of the layout compared to the other two. Um, it is a good little area. It's a good spot. Um, I, I think I like the location of the last one a little bit better, but I like the layout of this one a little bit more. It doesn't feel as long and narrow and kind of empty. So it's really up to you which one you think you like better. So thank you so much, and I'll get this video to you as soon as possible.